All right, uh, let's create an AWS Lambda function that returns some text using streaming API. To get started, head over to the AWS console and create a new function called AWS stream. Let's run a quick test to ensure everything is functioning correctly. Now let's switch to our code editor and create a new directory for our Lambda function. We will set it up using npm init. Inside the package.json file, we will make a few adjustments change index.js to index.mgs and add type module to enable ES modules. Additionally, we will include some scripts to streamline the deployment process to AWS. Move over to index.mgs file and add our lambda handler function with streamify response and then add response stream inside our ASIC function. This will allow us to stream our content. Now we will add a try catch block to capture any errors. Inside the try block using HTTP response stream method, we will create the response stream with defined metadata. At this point, we will write some text to the response stream using response stream dot write method. This is where you can customize the content based on your app's requirement. Catch any error that you may have encountered. And don't forget to end the response stream properly. With everything set up, let's deploy the Lambda function using our script. Head back to the AWS console to ensure that the code has been successfully updated and run a quick test to see everything is working as expected. Quick tip, if you plan on streaming a long response, you should increase the timeout from three seconds to 30 seconds. And that's it. We have successfully created our AWS function. Additionally, I have also built a ChatGPT wrapper using lab Lambda function. If you are interested about how I did it, let me know in the comment section below. Cheers.